what's up guys? Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors and I've got another video for you. Uh, I want to revisit a video that I did uh, actually quite a while ago, one of my first um, videos. And if you uh, have been watching the channel for a long time, you know that in the beginning of the channel I said um a lot. So I'm going to um try to not say that as much in this video. Hopefully this is an improvement in quality and everything else over the first version but this is ultralight backpacking gear on a budget <clears throat> version 2.0 so i'm going to jump straight into this i'm going to try to make this a heck of a lot shorter than the first one as well so let's jump right in this is reflectix only it's not reflectix this is a cheap version of reflectix that you get in the form of a car windshield cover this is the bubble wrap style I got this at Ollie's Bargain Outlet for, I want to say like three bucks, okay? So this is my sleeping pad. This is great. It's nice and wide. I trimmed it down, but it's more than long enough, okay? So this is a great thing to use. Handy little cut out there. Um, this is a great thing to use for trying to go light. If you're looking for a sleeping pad for warmer weather, um, then this certainly fits the bill. Uh, also good option on a budget is closed cell foam. I've seen them for six, seven, eight bucks at Walmart, just a blue closed cell foam pad. They work really well too. Uh, I've seen them all the way up to like 13 bucks. Um, but you certainly don't need to drop the cash on a Thermarest just yet when this Reflectix will get you through quite a lot. And uh, like I said, this isn't actual Reflectix, but it's the same stuff. It's bubble wrap layered in two reflective things. Will create some condensation, so keep that in mind but it's super cheap and it's really, really light. Next, smart water bottles. Don't carry around Nalgene's anymore. I carried around Nalgene's for years and while they are a good bottle and they're very tough, these things are great. This is all I use. I bring two of these with me on the trail all the time. Make sure one has the little uh, flip top with, um, you know, just like a little valve on the top instead of just the regular threads. This helps to back flush your water filters. Um, you know, these are essentially free. I'm sure you could find these for free, but if not, buy some smart water or some knockoff smart water that has the same threads and stuff. I got mine from Rite Aid one time. Cost less, and there you go. There's your water bottles. Took these on the Northville Placid Trail. They're still good to go. Uh, no damage or wear to them. Uh, so anyway, these are great. Um, so. That's what I use for water storage. Really cheap, really, really effective, and they're nice and slim, so they pretty much fit in any water pocket uh, for any backpack that's out there. Along with water filtration, I will say uh, also that any Sawyer product, I would say, is pretty budget-friendly, and they are excellent water filters. So whether you get the Sawyer Mini or the Sawyer Squeeze, they're both very light, and they're both uh, very affordable at about 20 and 30 bucks, respectively. Uh, respectively. So there's that. Next thing, if you're on a budget and you're trying to go ultralight, one of the things you don't want to carry is like six things of bug spray. So what I did is I used permethrin. Um, this thing does have its dangers. I'm not going to go through all that in the video, but if you have cats, this might not be a good idea. Um, but other than that, you spray it on, you let it dry, and it's good for a long time. Um, six washings or 40 days out in the sun. Um, so if it's stored in the uh, in the shade or in a box, it'll last longer than that. But really, this stuff is really, really good. So totally worth getting this. It effectively weighs nothing once it dries on your clothes. And it kills and repels ticks, mosquitoes, all that good nasty stuff that we all hate. So permethrin, this is Sawyer. Now I will have links to just about everything down in the... Um, description box if you guys want to check it out. If you do buy it on Amazon through the links that I provide, it does help out the channel. So thank you for your support. Uh, next is, I'm going to jump into cook systems. Um, what I have here is the Tokes 750 milliliter pot with bale. This was 30 bucks, okay? Now there are definitely stainless steel and aluminum alternatives that are much less expensive, but I think Tokes is about the best value for titanium. It is lighter and it just, I, I like the titanium. I did the stainless steel thing for a long time. 
this is definitely an improvement. Okay, much lighter. Um, I just I like the way it cooks better, and it's got the bale and the foldable handles. Uh, it's a really really good system. I bought this, uh, and I and I've been super happy with it. There's marks on it for how much water and all that stuff. So definitely do yourself a favor if you're looking to get into ultralight and you don't want to spend 90 bucks or over 100 bucks on your little cook pot. I like I said I think it was like 35 bucks when I bought it. So Again, I'll have links for it all in there. Um, great, great little pot lid, whole nine yards. Um, on only, I want to say this was like three ounces or something insane like that. Really light. Uh, the next thing, along with the cook system, is a soda can stove or a fancy feast stove or something like that. These can be had for literally nothing. You know, look in your neighbor's recycling. You'll probably find a soda can. Or a little cat food dish or something you know something like this you can make alcohol stoves out of them all day and as far as uh, carrying the alcohol this is one of those little stubby bottles which I kind of mush down to get all the air out of and it fits nicely right inside my pot so fuel storage here you go free okay little bottles uh, your stove can be five cents if you really want to get technical or uh, free if you find one. So Fancy Feast or Soda Can Stove, there's a million tutorials on how to make those. I'm not going to get into it. Both great, great options to lighten your pack without lightening your wallet. Okay, uh, let me throw this stuff back in there. Um, the next thing I want to do, what I've got here, is a Marmot Compressor. These things can still be had for about 50 bucks, and unless you're going on really long trips, uh, with ultralight a lot of the stuff is smaller and more compact and you're carrying a lot less anyway so this can totally take the place of a really expensive pack like I said about 50 bucks I've had mine for years and it's been very uh, reliable and durable despite being very lightweight they come in at about 11 ounces maybe 8 ounces I can't remember um, but I took the little pad out and a couple little extraneous things off and, and mine was down to like 6 ounces so very light next thing this is a Frog Togs. Uh, this is a Frog Togs Ultralight Poncho. I, again, I use this on the Northville Placid Trail. It is 1.8 or 2.3 ounces. I can't quite remember, um, but it's a sizable poncho, and it was it, as much as it's like kind of see-through. It was very durable. I was going through this kind of scrub pines and branches were catching it, and I didn't get any tears in this. I was very surprised at the durability. And I think they're normally around six or eight bucks. I got mine on clearance for three. So even if you're paying full shot for rain gear, uh, you know, if you're looking at Silni rain gear or Cuban fiber rain gear for hundreds of dollars, this is a really, really, really good alternative that won't break the bank. A few bucks on that, and it works great. I was very happy with it. Um, the next thing on my list is something that was in my old list, uh, and this is my... Mountain Smith Daylight Pack, which I have modified with straps on the bottom to hold uh, like my tarp and my sleeping pad, or uh, not sleeping pad, my tarp and um, my down jacket and some other stuff rolled up inside of it. Slap that right on the bottom. Uh, and then the inside's mostly for food, and I added shoulder straps to this to make it more comfortable uh, for hauling heavier stuff. But this thing is about 60 bucks, 65 bucks. If you went on eBay, I'm sure you could find these used for like 20, 30 bucks, and they're Mountain Smith. It's very well made. Um, you know, not what most people traditionally would call ultralight, but it keeps everything off of my back, uh, so my back can breathe and I don't sweat nearly as much. So this is just a really good piece of gear for shorter trips. I use this in conjunction with a ribs pack, and that held everything I needed for my five-day, uh, six-day trip on the Northville Placid Trail, which unfortunately did not complete because of a knee injury near the very end. So, anyway, that's that. Mountain Smith Daylight, very good. Again, there will be links below. <clears throat> Next thing is the Ribs Pack. Love this thing. Um, you can find these for about 40 bucks, and if you're not familiar with them, they just kind of sit right here, uh, just, just below your chest, right on your ribs and they are great for holding a lot of little extra things. I packed mine with food and some stuff that I wanted to be able to grab so that I didn't have to take my backpack off. So again, not the traditional 
ultralight backpack, but something that I found that's very sturdy, uh, pretty lightweight, and extremely useful. Um, extremely useful. I love these things. I, I really, I, I won't go on another big hike without them because they're just that good. And for day hikes, I would probably take this because they accumulate the least amount of sweat. So I like them a lot. Next thing, um, I already talked about Sawyer products. I just had this to remind me. Um, but the Sawyer Mini or Sawyer Squeeze, great. Next is this down jacket. I got this at JC Penny for 40 bucks um, on on some sort of a clearance. A lot of people have said, "Hey, I can't find that. Hey, I can't find that. I can't find that. I can't find that." I got a lot of comments to that effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a link for one on Amazon um, that seems very similar in construction, except for the fact that it has a hood, which is even better, and it's like 650 duck fill. It's not goose fill. Uh, it's duck down. Um, I think that's part of the reason they saved some of the money on there, but it's duck down and it's 650 fill, uh, like 40, 45 bucks. Really, really hard to beat. Just check it out in the description below. Um, but a down jacket for me is like an essential piece of gear and most of them run around 200 bucks. So you can spend literally a quarter of that, less than a quarter of that, um, if you get something like this. Are they going to be as good? Eh, probably not. This one, however, has lasted me, th I think, three or four years now. I don't know how much more you can want. Super affordable in comparison to the other ones. Next thing I've found that I really like is this Kelty Bestie Blanket. Now, I don't know if you could technically consider this ultralight, but I did bring it on my trip, um, and I was ultralight, you know, according to the weight. So this thing is great. Um, synthetic fill, so it doesn't really matter if it gets wet like Goose Down does. Um, and it's got nylon on one side and like a cottony or polyester on the other side. I actually don't even remember. I got this at a retail store, which is always more expensive, for like 22 bucks. Um, so, and they come in a variety of colors. This is really great in my hammock. I use this as a top quilt. So um, I, I love this thing. For 20 some odd bucks, this is like the cheapest top quilt you're ever gonna find. It's very compactable. I, I can pack this down quite small. I was very, very pleased with this on the trip. Took me down to temps in the 50s with absolutely no problem with only a t-shirt and shorts on. So for top quilt, I think that's pretty good for, I wanna say it's like 11 ounces. Um, so, and but for 20 bucks, come on. It's very difficult to beat that. Um, let's see, also, um, the next thing I'm gonna bring out is, um, it's, it's a product from To-Go Systems. Now these guys are not on Amazon. Um, I, I know the guy, Brian, who, who started this company. He's a really good guy. And he designs and prototypes everything. Uh, he's up here in the Northeast with me. He's a really good dude. And so I guess what I'm saying is, if you want this stuff, you have to go to his website. I have no affiliation with him. I don't get paid, but I've just, I, I really, I really like his stuff. This is the To-Go Systems Trifecta 2.0. Um, this thing is like 60, 65 bucks, I believe. Um, it is waterproof with waterproof zippers. You can use this as a tarp if you wanted to. It's just big enough for a tarp if you're ground sleeping. I have used this as an under quilt in the summer, which I did on my trip. I have used this uh, as a sleeping bag when I'm sleeping on the ground. It has reflective, uh, the inside is the reflective material. So it's similar to, maybe you're familiar with an SOL um, uh, Escape Bivy. This thing is like that on roids. I think it's much better quality. It's got uh, D-rings on the corners for tying it out. And, and this thing is just so multi-use. It is rectangular and there's a zipper all the way, you know, on three sides. So extremely versatile piece of gear that really takes um, the weight of a traditional and uh, the weight and price of like a traditional goose down bag, um, you know, that can be $400 sometimes or more um, for 60 to 65 bucks. Really hard to beat this thing. I th these things really changed the way that I did ultralight backpacking, the stuff from To-Go Systems, whether it's 
Uh, he now makes under quilts that are can be used as pod systems. He makes it, it, the guy has a whole array of products that are pretty innovative, and he's coming out with some other really cool stuff. Um, he's got liners. Where are they? Uh, this is one of them. This will go around your sleeping pad to add extra R value to it, or you can use this as like just a bag to like pull over. I mean. It's just really cool. He makes a lot of this reflective type material. It's all Tyvek type material. Um, it's waterproof, reflective. Just make a lot of really innovative stuff. So please go check him out again. I don't get paid by him or anything like that. He's just, he's a cool guy and I like him and I like his products. They've really helped me lighten the load without spending tons and tons of money. So guys, I know there's a lot more budget friendly gear, but this is some stuff that can really save you a ton of weight. If you have a bunch of traditional gear and you say, you know what, I want to lighten up, but I, I just don't have the money to sink into it, none of this stuff is a really substantial investment. And with Christmas coming in the next couple months, it's a great time to buy this stuff. Also, good idea is since the summer's pretty much over and everyone's going to roll out their winter stuff, guess what's going on clearance, guys? So now is the time in the next month or so to really start scouring for deals and clearances on stuff that they're going to be getting all new for next year. So if you're looking for budget items, now's the time to check it out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please share it. Please thumbs up, subscribe. God bless you guys as always, and I will catch you later.